Greetings, agents. My name is Anne Miller, and I am the author of Mickey and the Animal Spies and Mickey and the Trouble with Moles. These books are about three of my top favourite things, which are animals, spies, and puzzles. And my main character, Mickey, also loves codes and puzzles. Now, in the first book, Mickey and the Animal Spies, she spots a secret message on the bus home from school, and when she solves it, she winds up being recruited by a top secret group of animal spies called Cobra, led by a cobra called Kobe. All the team are animals, so apart from Kobe, we have Rupert the Rat, who looks after the wild animals. Clark the Cat looks after the domestic animals, or the pets. This is Astrid the Spider Monkey, who looks after the international animals. And we have Bertie the Giraffe, who is their security guard, and Tilda the Sloth. There are loads of puzzles and codes woven through the story, and you can see if you can solve them before Mickey manages it. In the first book, the team are trying to track down somebody who is behind a series of diamond thefts in the town. And in the second book, Mickey and the Trouble with Moles, the team are trying to catch a mysterious group of moles who are causing havoc all around the town because they keep trying to break into human bank vaults. Both books are packed full of puzzles. There are spiral codes, there are Caesar ciphers, and one of my very favourites I'm going to show to you now. now. I won't tell you what it's called, but see if anyone can read what this says. If you'd like more time to think about it, just pause the video now. And if you're back, are you ready for the solution? This one says, this is mirror writing. Mirror writing is one of my absolute favourite ways of sending secret messages, because if you don't know the key, it just looks like a load of squiggles. But if you know, either you can work it out by flipping them around in your head and reading them as you would a regular book, or you can actually hold this up to a mirror, maybe the one in your bathroom, and it should be able to be read as you're reading a regular page. If you'd like to give mirror writing a try, there are a few hints and tips which will really help. The first is that any letter in the alphabet which is symmetrical looks the exact same in mirror writing as it does in real life. So if you have an A, an H, an I, an M, an O, a T, a U, a V, a W, an X or a Y in your name, you're already well placed to write in mirror writing. If we took a name that was made up of symmetrical letters, say Tom, well Tom usually is written T O M and to do a mirror writing we swap them around so instead of T O M we write M O T and that will be Tom in mirror writing. Some letters are easier than others. I actually find N one of the hardest letters and I've got two of them in my first name. So if I was to write my name, so we start with an A, that's the same as before. Now the N, if you're not sure how to do it, the trick is to write it out how you normally would. And then imagine that there is a dotty line of a mirror down here. So whereas this line usually goes up, this time it needs to come down. So an N in mirror writing looks like this and I can now copy it into my name up here. So I've got my A, and then I have my backwards N, another one, I've got an E, and then Miller is my surname, so the M is quite easy, the I is the exact same, the L goes the other way, so does the E, and then I have the R. That's my full name in mirror writing and my little trick to learn the N down here. If you would like to have a go at mirror writing, your agent challenge for today is to write out your own name or a code name in mirror writing and then hold it up to a real life mirror and see if the letters have all swapped around as they should. If you would like a more advanced spy challenge, why not try writing a note to somebody you live with? It could be very short, it could be very long, depending on how much you want to practice your mirror writing. And for an extra level of difficulty, you could try mixing uppercase letters with lowercase letters. Whichever you choose, Mickey and I wish you the very best of luck.